Hi, for this lesson, we are going to learn to draw a seal. Let's get started. Today we're going to be drawing a seal. And as you can see, I have my paper in the landscape position, whereas the image that we're working from is in the portrait position. The reason is, is there's a lot of steps here, that's why it's in this position. But if you look at the seal, it's a little bit wider than it is tall, so we want to do it in the landscape position. Let's get started with our shapes. So in the step drawings, we want to start with the largest shapes first. And if you look at this seal, he's made up of kind of a lot of these ovals and circles. I'm going to start with the largest one that I see, and the largest one is this circle right here. Now keep in mind it's very important where you place it on your paper because the first shape is really going to determine where all your other shapes go as well as the size of them. So if I start off with about this size shape, I'm keeping it more towards this side of the paper so I have room for the back leg and the tail and everything, it's going to leave room also for the top where the neck and the head are. So I believe this is a pretty good size and placement for this shape. From here, I'm going to move on to the second largest shape, which is, with, which is this oval in here. Now notice how it touches the circle about here. It goes up to about this height and it dissects the circle almost in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and get that shape in as best I can. Notice how it goes straight up and down here. It doesn't push out too much here. So I want it going straight up and down here as well. Next I'm going to go ahead and get that head since I'm working up here and I'm going to get the circle in. Notice how it overlaps a bit just about in here. I'm going to get a nice size head there. And lastly I'm going to get this hind leg. That's an oval. It overlaps the first circle just a little bit it's something like that. For the second step, we're going to attach all of these to create that back. So I'm going to start at the head here, touch here slightly, then it angles out, and I have another angle here, and then down to the circle. Now I missed kind of this little bump right there. I'm going to get that in. Keep in mind, as you get more difficult drawings, you want to make sure that you draw as lightly as you possibly can so you can erase any mistakes. Next, I'm going to get the neck in. It touches the head and the side of this oval. So it touches here and comes down to about there. Next is the bottom of the body. You connect these two. We're going to move on to this step now, and as you can see, a lot of these lines get erased. So I'm going to use my eraser and start erasing all of those dotted lines. Now we have a pretty good shape for our seal. I left this line because it still remains right there. The next part of this step is the mouth. As you can see, it kind of comes out, down, there's a little sideways V here, and in there. So we have the shape of the face. I'm going to bring that over just a little bit. We also have the arm in here. I'm going to pull it out. It's kind of a soft little angle. Notice how it comes from inside the body and then goes outside the body. Perfect. Might bring it up just a little bit more. Then we're going to move on to this step. And we have a little tail coming from the back right here. And then a foot over in here, or a flipper, I guess. We have another flipper that comes from the inside here and from here. 
my tail needs to be quite a bit bigger. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. So don't be too hard on yourself if you need to move a shape or take away something that you added by accident. There are no worries. Finally, I'm gonna go on to the second to last step. We have the eye about right here, a little bit of ear over here. We have the neck kind of coming out. We have a few wrinkles added over down in here and in here. And we have a heel kind of on the flipper in there and a heel on this back foot too. Also, almost forgot the nose and a little line for the mouth. and the tongue right there. I believe that is it for this step. Get a little more shape there. I'm gonna to move to the final level. And what I see are whiskers coming off the face. Maybe a few on the other side over there. I see these lines, the texture in here. See a little bit more definition in the belly here. A couple more lines. And a little shadow under here. I might also add a little shadow under this one. I'm also going to make the tip here a little bit more pointed. And erase this line. Oh, I forgot to do that. I think I have this in a pretty good place. And as you'll see, my picture is not exactly the same as the image. And that is totally fine. We're making this our own. It doesn't have to look exactly like somebody else's, as long as you enjoy it. Get this in here. There you go. I might add a little horizon line maybe add a little ice kind of coming off the edge here. Have some fun. Feel free to color it in or leave it a pencil drawing. Fill in the eye too. There we go. Thanks for working with me today.